How you guys doing? Welcome back to Ballistic Brooks. Today we brought back out the B-Mag. I figured I'd do a little bit more in depth on it, show you guys a little bit more of the accuracy and a couple of ammunitions that you can actually get for this thing. It is the most powerful rimfire rifle you can get. It is absolutely amazing. Like this thing is devastating to small garments and definitely diabetes bottles. It takes them out pretty well too. So, but let's take a look at the ammunition. Uh, first thing, this is what I was shooting in the last video. These right here are the 15 grain, moving at 3,300 foot per second. These are Winchester varmint loads. These are the lead free. Uh, these are these are pretty awesome round for woodchucks and whatnot. Um, and then right here we've got the American Eagle. These are Federals. Um, these are a 20 grain moving at uh, 3,000 foot per second. So these are not quite as fast, but being a little bit heavier projectile, they, they're pretty devastating as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out, I'm gonna do a uh, five shot group with both of them. Kind of show you guys how well this thing does. We're at 50 yards right now, down range. Um, so we'll take five shots real quick out of each one of them ammunitions. We'll go down, take a look at it, and then we'll see what this thing does against the uh, diabetes penetration test. So. Let's check it out. All right, so first we're loaded up with the Winchester 15 grain. Let's do a quick five shot group of these and see how these do. Now, just bear in mind, you know, as you can tell from my other videos, I get a little nervous and I can't quite hit nothing. So I'm not gonna be going for bullseyes on this. I'm just gonna specifically go for shot groups. So I'm gonna aim for the same point of impact every time and wherever they hit, I'm hoping to get them as tight as possible. So. Don't mind the redneck setup here. I forgot my tables this morning when I left the house, so we're kind of stuck using what we got. Grab another one real quick. I uh, accidentally chucked out a full round on you. All right. Now we'll load up, do five rounds with the uh, 20 grain, see how those ones do, and then we'll walk down and take a look at them both at the same time. We do have the GoPro down there, so probably while I'm shooting, we'll throw that up in the corner, and uh, that way you guys can see the impacts as we're going. bottom target on this one. Winchesters are grouping a little bit better than these. Then again, it'd probably be a little better if I put this in a lead sled and took a few shots out of it. But Redneck science ain't that crucial. All right, the weapon's cleared. Let's get on and take a look. All right, now obviously I'm shooting off a little bit of a rickety table, so the table's moving around a little bit, but. Look at that five shot group from them uh, seven or them 15 grain Winchesters. That group, it's, I would say probably about mm, about an inch, inch and a quarter group. That's a pretty nice group at 50 yards with a rim fire. Uh, this one, I do believe the 20 grainers, I, I may have pulled a little bit on the first shot, getting resettled in. But even these, even with that pulled shot, that's not terrible for a rim fire off of a kind of a rickety bench. So. I'm going to take that as a pretty consistent shooting. A um, little bit on me because I know I wasn't the greatest on that one. But All right, now let's set up a few extra targets and uh, take a few more shots and we'll uh, see what this thing can do against the diabetes. So. 
All right, so I got these loaded up. I've got the 20 grain Federal in there first, and I did every other. I've got a Federal Winchester, Federal Winchester all the way to the end. We've got, oh, uh, what is it, four cans of Diabetes down there, and then a couple old spray bottles. We'll see what, what this thing will do to those. And being back and forth, it's gonna be, you know, the 20 grain and the 15 grain hitting them, but either way, at 50 yards like this, it's gonna be devastating. So it'll just be neat to see. That was a nice thump when it hit it too, did you hear that? We'll clean the table off with some of that diabetes. Oh wow. When we get down there, I'll have to show you, these things, they hit so much, so hard, because they're so fast, that they actually leave, when you're hitting these cans and stuff, they'll leave little craters in the table, in that plastic table. At least I hope they do, otherwise it's gonna make a liar out of me. Spray can was a lot better, a lot more eventful. It's not really leaving much left of those uh, diabetes cans. Alright, weapons clear. Let's go look at the devastation. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the uh, the Walker earbuds. I had somebody ask me about these. Um, these things are pretty neat. I've been using them for, I'd say, about four or five years now, and I really prefer them over the muff, especially on a hot, muggy, dreary day like today. Um, I don't know if you live in the Michigan area, but right now we're kind of getting some of that Canadian fog, eh? Got a nice Canadian smoke going, so. But yeah, nope, these are the walkers that I use. They work great, I love them. Some people don't because you gotta charge them, but as long as you remember to keep the uh, case charged, they work pretty well. Oh, you can tell these cans weren't super full. You just punch straight through them. But that red one, I'm pretty sure that one had a lot more pressure in it. it just about turned that thing inside out. That's pretty neat. And them cans of soda are just gone. Yeah, you look at the table here. This is where one of the cans was sitting. It blew a hole in the table just from the energy that thing just dumps right into it. And then you got another big old divot right there where it blew through. And it's kind of hard to tell where everything was. So now we're gonna reset up and then we're gonna do a diabetes penetration test. Let's we'll see how many cans of diabetes this 17 caliber bullet will go through. All right, so right now we got up, I had about 12 cans of diabetes down there all set up. And then just in case I threw another spray can that didn't get hit back behind them, I'm going to use the uh, Winchester, the 15 grain, 3300 foot per seconds. Let's see what those do to that diabetes. And go ahead and leave down in the comments below what you think and how many cans you think a diabetes this bullet will go through. Me personally, I think maybe three, maybe four. It's a small, light round, so it's going to slow down and lose energy really fast. So let's take a look. Hopefully the GoPro will survive this. All right, that might have made me look silly because I think it might have went a little deeper than I thought it would. All right, let's go count and see how many cans of diabetes that went through. All right, look at that devastation. It looks like the, oh, it looks like I hit the top of the cans, but it managed to go through one, two, Three, mm, myself. four, I think none of these are hit. Did I hit that can? Okay. And it went through the top of that, that spray can bottle. So, inconclusively, I think it went through about four of them. It maybe would have went five, but that's good enough for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave in the comments below if you guys want to see me do anything else with the 17 or if you want to see any other strange caliber do some weird stuff like this. And uh, I hope you had a good time and we'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching.